Welcome to the episode 7 of my let's play. In the meantime, in between episodes, I did a little bit work on the slime farm. As I said, I want to finish it. I mean, it was a lot of digging, a lot of mining, and it's done. The worst part was getting enough iron from the golems, so I destroyed the beacon, as you can see. It's nowhere here. I got here my golems, I made a few platforms. Oh, I still got holes inside of it. Well, never mind. We've got a platform here and I made it like this. I wanted to have the spawn of the slimes to be far enough, but not too far enough. So yeah, as you can see here, pop. I did dig a little bit deeper. After that, I spawn proofed it all because slimes can spawn in a 3x3x3 three by three by three, uh, box. That means if I place uh, those blocks here on the upper side, they won't be able to spawn. The minecart system, the collecting system, is the same as by the uh, pumpkin farm, melon farm and the uh, sugarcane bamboo farm. As you can see, it's slowly gathering. It's mirrored on both sides and I created a elevator. So we can just we go up and down to the collection system. And we up and down, up and down. I like it very much. It's a typical bubble waiter. So you place a soul sand block on the bottom side. Place one bucket of water here. And then you use kelp from the very bottom to the very top. And then you break the bottom most kelp. After that, you will have a bubble waiter. But this, I do want to change it, which I do will change it. I do have a plan for the underground. I mean, for the basement of this building. I want to make it a bit bigger, plus some secret tunnels, maybe a tunnel which goes directly to the farm, you know. But this will be for a bit later. And as you can see, this is my priority for this episode. I want to make an iron farm and probably a bee farm too. But this will be annoying because the bee nests, those ones, are spawning only when the trees are spawning. You can harvest them with a silk touch axe. I can harvest it, but the problem here is they can only spawn 1 in 20 and only when they have a flower right next to them. So like this, when I have here a sapling, here a flower and they grow, there is a 1 in 20 chance it's gonna come with a bee nest. With the villagers I still didn't make any real progress and I used a bit of my beacon and I relocated it back to the ender chest. So yes, I still need <laughs> how many? Uh, 16 more blocks for the beacon to work. But for now I don't really need it. So yeah, that's more or less it from the progress which I did off cam. Plus I was working on an another wit which already came out. It came in between episodes 1 and 2. So yeah, that's more or less it. I want to make the iron farm as I earlier said here in this chunk. So let's go clear it up a bit and let's go. I did build uh, two or three iron farms in the past, so I know the specifics about how they spawn. I'm still not sure if I should follow a guide. It was at this moment the viewers knew he messed up and really badly. <laughs> Still, I want to make an area where the golems spawn and then here it's gonna be the drop shoot where the golems just uh, go under and burn in lava. Underground I'm going to have a zombie which is gonna face uh, three villagers and he's gonna constantly scare them which will in turn spawn the iron golems. The only thing I don't know is how far away I as a player can be from the farm for the golems to keep spawning. Because on the glass platform I have on the left, uh, yeah, they're not spawning. But yeah, this should be more or less what I had in mind. And yes, this place is right straight up smack in the middle of the chunk. See? Middle, 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 middle. Because I want to build like this. Guys, girls, we've got a knight. That means I want to place my zombie 
inside the zombie luring chamber. Still, I've gotten only a hole ready. They do gonna come here, but I want to make something like this. Where I later drop down a zombie and make a chamber for the villager to be scared. Here comes our zombie and with a bit of luck, with few hits, he drops right down. And he dropped down. And oh, I got lucky, he gonna ride down the hole. Nice. Plop. And hit. Hit. Okay, name tag the zombie and cover him up so he won't die from the sun. Badoop. Badoop. Whee! The best way to transport villagers is to use a furnace minecart and to feed it a bit of coal and then it's gonna push the villagers all the way through the railway. For me the funniest thing about the villagers and the rails is when they fall down and stack on top of each other like this. You can press F3 and B to show the hitboxes of the mobs and the entities, which are boats and minecarts. You wanna see a derpy moment? Yeah, you seen it! And again... Uh, oh. <laughs> Oh man, for real. Third times the charm. <laughs> oh man, really? At the very least, I won't trade with them. Let's try to make the iron collecting system, but before that I need to make some way for that, so that's why I'm digging right now. We place a chest and then hoppers are going right into it. So with a shift right click you can just connect them right to it. Oh man, I'm so stupid, I just noticed uh, by the recording. I connected the hoppers into the walls, no wonder I don't have enough iron. And I did think the farm was, uh, you know, not working. I just gotta check it out right now. <laughs> Man, I'm so stupid. For real, for real. It's the editing crack, so here. As you can see, the hoppers are really full. So the farm is working and I'm just stupid. So yes, uh, they go right into the walls without uh, going into the chest. So I got to repair it, which I'm going to do right now. I'm so glad I'm stupid, for real. One, two and three. If you knew my plan for the farm, you would be quite surprised maybe. So I just want to say, thanks God it's working. Thanks God it's working. After correctly connecting all the hoppers in the array, after that we place a lot of signs and those help us keep the lava float and then help the golems just to sink uh, right down. That way the golems are gonna die, but the items are gonna fall into the hopper collecting system. After that I'm gonna place two buckets of lava cause one would not be able to cover the whole area and after that as you can see we can just <laughs> drop golem down and see the world burn. After that I created my first attempt to create a platform for the spawning of the golems with which I wasn't even really that happy, which is why I created the second design, which is better, but still it got a little bit of a flaw. Yes, one of the flaws was still about the villagers, which I created and put this way, still I was gonna change it either way and I did change it. Here you can see how I changed a bit the storage system, it looks a lot cleaner now, but still it's only deep slate. I have no real creativity about that, so I'm gonna probably change it in the future. I have two major faults in this build and those are First, the spawning conditions of the iron golems. I still need to spawn proof a lot of the area around it cause one villager is gonna spawn an iron golem in the area of 17 blocks of X and Z and 13 blocks of the height level. If I wasn't going for an aesthetic I could just make it with some carpets or slabs. And the second problem is the villager breeder on the bottom right side, which in turn when they spawn golems, the golems affect the spawning rate of the other golems from the spawning platform. That's why I'm gonna move them right about here. 
and this place is uh, gonna be the new villager trading hall too but that will be a project for the future right now i'm just gonna put them all right here in a sore spot place that way i'm gonna focus onto it a bit sooner then using the foreigners minecart but first to bump into the villagers yes yeah we can see them go away bye bye my problems i'm gonna send you away onto a journey when they arrive at the destination i'm gonna break the cards i can only hope it's not gonna be the same as by you know the spawning platform you've seen what i did oh yeah this funny okay i'm gonna put down some bats and then we can just try yep it's going well light it up a bit so there won't be any zombie spawnage and after that i'm gonna say what i want to do with the farm i'm gonna spawn proof it but the way i'm gonna do it it's gonna be <laughs> yeah i'm gonna create a big 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 platform of glass you're gonna see it in the vid a bit later down the line so yeah you can look forward to it Guys, girls, oh, I've got an arrow in the knee. Uh, the thing is, the farm, it is and isn't working. I had a little problem with it, so I had to remodel it a little bit, as you can see. I've got a zombie in the middle. I died in there. <laughs> That's why my levels is only a level 5. I, yeah, this one, this fourth villager died too. Let's just say I'm not really the smartest one or the <laughs> villagers. Yeah, zombie. A zombie got him. Yeah, let's say that. Not my sword. A zombie. Okay, I fetched myself some black stained glass and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. I want to make the glass fading effect whoop <laughs> nice nailed it okay so i want to create the black stained uh, glass fading effect with just uh, the blocks i have by myself so i'm gonna dig a deep trench and then make some row of uh, glasses which will then create the effect i'm gonna make a wall of the deep slate bricks and in between there is gonna be glass then there is gonna be air and then it's gonna be a uh, glass again like you see in the video right now and i did not mention it but later in the wit i used uh, not bricks at the bottom but black concrete with just two uh, rows of glass it's not gonna look that good but later i'm gonna create uh, four of them and that's gonna be something like a site project or a side quest cause it's gonna take a lot of time to get uh, that much glass so it won't be happening in one week and here you can see how my brain got a fart <laughs> yeah i first did the upper layer and then later 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 down the line in the width i created the down layer you know so i've gone from the head to the feet not from the feet to the head yep cracks you're a genius from the other sort why not start building a house with a roof and then at the end go back to the foundations no and to be told, I should have made it like at this point, I should have made a new farm, destroyed this one and made one in the air. This way, they would have spawned only on the platform and I would have an easy farm, take me only like 10 to 15 or maybe uh, 40 minutes to build. But as you can see, I got a bit greedy, cause greed is good. And I wanted to make it all by myself, from my own head, so that's where we got. I have to move the whole area back there cause uh, this spawn area for the iron golems is way too big because the problem is uh, they're gonna need uh, 17 to 17 away from the villager plus 13 for the heights of blocks for the spawn area that's the area i have to spawn and i'm gonna use the glass and i'm gonna create a fog effect and the thing is which i right now need to do is yes you guessed it dick dig 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 and dig a lot that's why yeah i'm gonna rebuild the beacon 
and yeah, I'm gonna build, put a lot of uh, glass, trade a lot, so see you later. Who do we have here? If it isn't our friend the iron golem, who spawned not in the water, but yeah, in the area in between. There you go away, bye bye, see you later, never. <laughs> I had to, I had to, okay. Well, hello. Do you wanna know how much time I spent onto the farm, which even did not even go as expected? <laughs> I'm gonna show it to you how much time passed with an one easy quick way. Just go up, just go up and look. You can see the copper. Yes, it's almost fully aged. If I press F3 and to say which day it is, it's 313. It means this farm, <gasps> I mean right now it should be working, but as you can see it's ugly. It's ugly, it's disgusting. And still it got some places where it's still not foolproofed. You can see it's creating stuff, we can hear the zombie. Theoretically it should be working now. No! <laughs> Theoretically, in this place, which I showcased a bit earlier, as you can see, I dig a bit uh, down, and you can see just because the Y level of the villager for the spawning of the iron golems, I have to foolproof this whole area with slabs, and it's gonna be all interesting. Not for you, but for me, and it's gonna give me a lot of headaches. At the very least, the next time in the next world, which I'm gonna create, I know that for the iron farms I'm gonna create them in the air or at the very least after a tutorial which I know it will work. But more or less this should be it. Most of the glass, if not all, I get from bartering. I just need to go to uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this, this, uh, those five guys. I use the glow ink from the glow squids to light up the signs so I know that there's gonna be glass traits. The emeralds needed for the trading I got from those two guys here. And that's at the same time my main income of the levels I get. But I need to print a bit more emeralds with them, cause I need for the beacon. <laughs> cause I used all the iron for the hoppers here and for the farm back there for the slime farm. So right now I'm poor. Plus I created uh, me some tools. Do you want to know which tools? I'm gonna show them to you. It's my shovel, gravel and sand. Why the two of them? Because I want to have a block and the block it's called concrete which is created by uh, combining uh, four pieces of sand, four pieces of gravel and one piece of uh, colored dye. And I want to have the underground from concrete. Not concrete powder, but concrete. So I need to go right now on a journey to fill up the those four shulker boxes, half with sand, half with gravel, which I'm gonna do right now, so we'll see us after the cut. Oh hello there, after grinding a lot and destroying half of the durability of each shovel, as you can see, I've got me my two full shulkers of sand and two full shulkers of gravel, plus I hunted some squids for the black dye. Still creating the concrete powder is quite easy, you just need 4 pieces of sand, 4 pieces of gravel and 1 piece for the dye. Combine it at the end in the crafting bench and voila, you're done. 1, 2, 3 and four. After that you just need to place the concrete either in water or have it contact with water, that means you can just drop a water bucket onto the concrete powder to create the concrete. Finally, as you can see, I have a beacon, but still, I know it's quite boring <laughs> just building a perimeter around the whole farm. I mean, yeah, it kinda is, and there is not a lot of content to talk about that, but as you can see, I did <laughs> dig quite a bit down, and right now I'm just waiting for the respawning of the trades, cause I need glass, I need the glass. And as you can see, the farm is working. 
so in the meantime I'm still getting quite a bit of uh, the share I can check out it's not the best but as you can see it's working even the caves are still not all uh, lit up or spawn proofed for example right under me is a cave still it's coming along and I just want to say that show the current progress as you can see I've got tons of concrete powder and when I'm just down I just put down a bucket this makes this and most of the area is already done then I will make one two three four four layers and around the whole farm I'm just gonna make this a whole wall right down. I thought I will maybe do a gradient but then I just <laughs> just said no nah fam i have enough this is already enough work for me with the digging and so on i just have to put a width on the background and just do it so i just want to show the current progress well see you in a bit welcome back the farm is more or less ready but ready only in the sense that it's working the thing which ain't it ready <laughs> is yeah finishing the you know the layers at the very least i can now just get the iron but as you can see the layers the fog layers are still not done and i will probably put down some end rods you know for the atmosphere and here i'm still not sure i don't like it that it's a big big old square as you can see <laughs> <laughs> really I could have made for example a guardian farm which would take a similar amount of effort than this iron farm I mean this iron farm could literally be made 15 blocks in the air just floating and it would be done in like 15 minutes 20 minutes when dealing with the villagers but no I had to create a whole perimeter around it so I will probably make a you know a circle around it because it's just stupid stupidly big and I need to make it somehow work I mean I can still expand to this way this building it's gonna be quite big but I still need to you know remove the ruins you know the outline of the beginning of the villager trading hall <laughs> This is totally oxidized. I mean, I'm crying right now because the footage I have to make is like crazy. Still, I will do it. No problem. I have fun with it. Still, I'm fun and happy. This is finished, uh, more or less. I mean, functional. I can show you. We. Ooh, that was clean. As you can see it's producing so I can finally have enough iron for example for a beacon and after the recording I checked it again after the fix and yes it's producing I have over two rows of iron so I'm really happy. Me being overall really happy about the whole situation is a big plus but me being not happy about having to uh, spend that much time is another thing but still this project took me a whole day too and I was in the end happy with it even if it's not 100% uh, ready and the same I can say with the farm but as we know the farm will stay till the end so yeah at the very least about iron I don't have any problem anymore so yeah this can be oh yeah bee farm bee farm so I can very least make this so yeah i can proudly say i finished this episode with a slime farm and an iron farm even if i know the iron farm is not quote unquote finished but that's only the decorating visuals and this should be it for this video thank you for watching the next episode i'm gonna try to make the bee farm and stay in good health bye